This is John Lemesny. I am Beer Critic on beercritic.wordpress.com. And tonight we are going to take a look at Long Trails Brewmaster Series, the double IPA. And I had a, I believe it was an Imperial Stout uh, by Long Trail in their Brewmaster Series, and I thought it was absolutely delicious. The other thing that's pretty amazing about uh, this series is that it is very, very affordable. This uh, 22 fluid ounce bomber uh, costs under $4, about $3.50 everywhere I've seen it. So um, it would be a deal for uh, a bad beer, but to have it be a great beer is a pretty amazing thing. I really like that. So here I am doing my photography bit. And um, just because I haven't done it in a while, I think I'm going to try this shot. I haven't done this in a little while. We can get some more light on that. I like that a lot, how that is uh, showing up kind of red. Anyway, double IPA. So double IPA uh, means different things to different breweries. I have no idea why uh, Long Trail is referring to this as a double IPA. It could have been... Uh, double dry hopped, or who, who knows, the double amount of hops used in the process. Um, but generally speaking, it means that it's a relatively strong ale with uh, IPA tendencies. In other words, pine and citrus uh, scents, um, heavy, heavy bitterness from the hops, and uh, usually a high ABV. In this particular case, the ABV is 8.6% which, according to my scale, makes it about 270 calories per 12 ounces. Since this is almost 24 ounces, uh, we would say that it would be between 500 and 600 calories for this entire bottle. I am going to be using a tulip in order to pour, because that's traditional for IPAs. Uh, strong IPAs or double IPAs uh, typically call for a snifter, but a tulip still works. We want to be able to um, get some of those nice aromas there. So let's go ahead and listen to the crack. Very nice. And a pour. Nice scent in the room already. I'm going to go ahead and focus a little bit on uh, the body here, see if we can get some extra light behind it. Yeah, nice orange body, a very fluffy white head. I'm going to take some of the heat off of that now. Very fluffy white head. Very nice looking presentation there. Definitely a classic look for an IPA. Nice deep orange body. Copper amber. Nice lacing. Beautiful. So Now, let's do some tasting. So, uh, 
I would say that that is a very clear, very, very clear body. That the head is hanging on, nice lacing. Definitely a very fluffy, sticky lace and head. Lots of beautiful pine and grapefruit aroma. Lots of citrus. Very strong, intense smell. Uh, the scent is sweet. Very nice aroma. Uh, I would say it's flowery. It's got some herbal tones to it. Definitely a sweet aroma. And I'm looking forward to tasting. Very, very uh, enticing aroma. Let's go ahead and taste. Well, it is very intense flavor, not overpowering, but definitely very nice. Very sweet up front, turns into a very uh, bitter finish. Very, very nice impression that it's making. Uh, definitely some, some bread flavors, some uh, heavy yeasty flavors, a nuttiness that rests on the palate. I would say... Um, Lots of resin, definitely a lot of citrus, uh, some coriander, it's definitely creamy, not too much uh, drying, not slick or oily, it is a medium to full body, the carbonation is definitely medium. It's not over carbonated, certainly not flat. I would say the finish is medium to long. Uh, I would say that it's a fairly intense finish, that it definitely hangs on and makes you want to have another sip. The finish is definitely bitter. I would say it's very well done. I mean, it's a beautiful IPA uh, in any case, but for $3.50 a bomber, I should have gotten a case of it because it's just delicious. Look for it. Long Trail Brewmaster Series Double IPA. This is the second one I've had in the series and um, I think they have some hits on their hands. Thanks a lot for your attention. Have a good night.